Thanks, how y'all doing? Okay, so last video today. I like to knock out videos when I'm the only one home because you've probably seen several of my videos. I've got small kids and they're running around and anyway, it's hard. Okay, so I'm gonna do an update review on this cute vintage, super vintage bag that <clears throat> I guess technically is a crossbody, although the strap is kind of a bit short to be as a, to wear as a crossbody. But um, so, you know, it's just a great compact bag. Maybe I should just say that. Uh, first, let me tell you what the measurements are. This is the Marceau, the, pet, the Petite Marceau, and you probably have seen my video on my favorite Marceau, my Marceau GM. That's one of my favorite crossbody bags ever. It's vintage. I love it. There is absolutely no Bichetta leather on it, which is why I love it so much. And I do like this one too. I used to use this one as my little uh, bobble case because my bobble fits perfect in it and I could just throw it over my shoulder and so I really liked that. And then, um, I don't know why I stopped. I think I got, I think I got a bigger Bible. I don't remember. Anyway, or someone may have said, hey, can I buy that? And I was like, sure, because that's just what I do too. All right, so the measurements are eight inches wide by 10 inches tall by three inches deep. And then the strap, let's see, how did I? The strap is 41 inches uh, end to end on the last hole. Oh, okay. So I measured it. So I measured from, I didn't do the drop. I did I actually measured the strap. So from here to here, based on it being in the last hole. Now, um, let me just show you how goofy it looks on me as a crossbody. Um, again, I am, or not again, I am 5'6", and so, wait, let me back up. And so the strap just is not long enough to be a crossbody, in my opinion. Well, I guess it depends on how you like it to sit. See, this sits really high. I don't, I don't like for bags to sit this high. Um, let's see. Okay, so you know I've been using, or maybe you don't know, but I have been using my Mick MM, which is from the men's line, and I'm going to show you how this sits, and then you'll set, you'll you'll understand why I don't like it, uh, this other size. Gosh. Okay, you know what? I went through all this trouble to get this custom strap, so I wouldn't have to do all this wonky nonsense with my strap, and I still have to. Okay, so this, there. Does that kind of give you an idea? Okay, so this is my waist right here. Again, I'm 5'6". Probably need to put this down one step. Sorry. Let's see. There you go. Okay, so this is how I like them to sit. If I'm wearing a crossbody, I need it to sit pretty low. Here's my hip, or my waist, sorry. Here's my waist. So it's actually below my waist. If you can see the Marceau, the Petit Marceau, Petit Marceau, whatever, however you want to say it, it is like up here like up in my business okay so it actually sits low like whenever whenever i'm carrying a tote bag the top of the tote bag is right here so that's how high it sits and i don't really like that so but again it actually is a great compact compact bag uh just because you know well it's small <laughs> and you can adjust this so i have it on the last hole and again, I'm 5'6", so even if I have it on my shoulder, it still, you know, sits pretty high. So this is going to be, you know, a nice travel, like a just a night out bag or whatever, a little travel bag. I don't mean travel bag like your luggage. I just mean like if you just wanted your, your small wallet in there and, um, you know, a couple of essentials like beauty essentials or whatever, uh, maybe your cords for your cell phone or whatever, it's great for that. What I also like about it is like the Marceau GM, it has an outside pocket which makes it super convenient for your phone. So see, you can throw your phone in there. And this is an iPhone 6 Plus. So it does, as you can see, it hangs out um, or sticks out. This is a 5C and it is not gonna stick out at all. I mean, I can push it down there, but it's right there. So it's gonna, I feel like it'd be a little more secure. Um, and you know, if you have a case on it, it's gonna be even more, but at least, you know, if you carried it this way into your body, that way it's facing you and you don't have to worry, you know, about anyone snagging it out of your, out of the pocket. But, um, I like this bag because again, I think it's a great little option for travel. Um, let me show you the inside. One of the things that you've heard me say that I love about the inside of these, some of the vintage bags is that they're all leather and this one is no different. So see, it's all leather and it's actually, there's no pockets. It's actually quite roomy. There's no slip pockets, no zip pockets. Now, in the Marceau GM, some, I have seen some with an interior zip and an interior slip. And the interior slip pocket literally goes all the way across. And I actually don't have that one anymore. I did have it, and then I think 
someone bought it off me and so when I got another one it did not have that it did it's just like this there's no pockets at all in it but you know it's okay okay so with this bag you're gonna probably have to position everything up and down because you can see that it's not that wide so if you have like a zippy wallet or a full size wallet this is the zippy organizer it's just a tad bit bigger than a traditional zippy and um, it's obviously not gonna fit side to side it will fit up and down but well, okay, it doesn't actually hog up as much room as I thought. So you could put that in there. And then also, if you have like a, you know, an accessory pochette, that is gonna fit also up and down, but that's all it's gonna fit, okay? Like that, those two things, and that's it. And then you would have your phone on the outside, and well, I mean, that's all you're gonna be able to do. <coughs> Excuse me. You might be able to throw, you know, like your gum or whatnot over here on the side or whatever. But one thing that you can do to have more space in this small bag is obviously use a compact wallet. I said in my last video that I don't care to use compact wallets because of the folding. This is an MCM, but this is one that I bought to use with my compact or with my crossbody MCM, which actually is similar in size to this um, Marceau. It's a little bit bigger, but um, anyway, I found this and I mean, I really... I like it. It's similar to this one, plus it has an outside pocket. Anyway, okay, video's not about that one. And so I bought this compact wallet, but the point is that it is like the Kiss Lock, the uh, Louis Vuitton Kiss Lock that you've seen. I think I have a video on that. Or I, I've at least, um, it's, a, it's at least made an appearance in some of my videos, but I can't think of which ones. But it has a ton of room, just like the Kiss Lock does. A ton of room in here. Don't have any trouble, like, having everything in here. It even has this cute little, like, coin thing. But when it comes to my bills, I don't, this doing this takes too much time for me because the wallet is already used to being shut so you know whenever you open it you have to like hold it straight to get your bills in there i don't like that y'all it's so annoying it take it wastes my time okay so excuse me i actually use this old model what in the heck somebody left some daggum crackers over there and got crackers on the okay so this is an old model sarah wallet and it just has the uh two uh, credit card slots right here and I chose this wallet for a reason because when I travel I don't need I don't need all the stuff that's in here and here I just need my photo ID and my debit and or one credit card and I can double those things up I have right here it's got a zipper uh, for coins and then it has for my bills okay and so I like that but it is technically a full-size wallet, so, but it's not as chunky as my zippy or my organizer. So I can put that in here and it's actually, you know, it, it, it is quite roomy. So it doesn't take up a lot of room. And then, or the bag is still quite roomy, that's what I meant to say. And here's my accessory pochette and I can put that in here. Now again, these two things are going to take up most of the room. So I wanted to show you if you do have a compact wallet similar to this one. This is a... What is this? Six? No, it's not six by four. Is this six by four? No, I think it's three by five. And so you can put this either this way or this way. I'm just going to put it in like that. And then if you have like a little a mini pochette, this is not a mini. This is a mid size, but it is smaller, so it would fit in there with no trouble, and it doesn't take up all the room. Or if you had a mini pochette, which is this is not a mini pochette, obviously. It's my little MCM pouch, but it's similar in size, very similar. It's not as deep as, uh, or this is deeper than the mini pochette, but it is similar in size. And so then you have quite a bit of room, okay? And then you can throw in, uh, well, whatever, whatever else you have. The point is, is that there's quite a bit of room in here for this. But this is a great little option, again, for date night, mom's not out. Um, this could even be like your shoulder, like diaper bag. If you just, if all you're carrying these days, if you're on the tail end of those, you know, huge baby bag days, and all you need is some wipes, a couple of diapers, or pull-ups, or whatever it is, this is a great option for that, because then you can all, and, and you don't normally carry like a big wallet, or even if you do, it probably fit fine, but if you have a compact wallet and you're just carrying those things, then everything fits in here. This is also a great option for, like if you normally carry, like let's say, the Cobus Alto, or maybe even their full GM, and you need a bag to pull out, you don't want to take that humongous bag everywhere, this is a great bag to have inside there, like a bag inside your bag, a uh, bag inside your tote. So anyway, this is a super cute bag. If you're not a fan of all the Vachetta, if it makes you crazy like it does me, 
This is a great option. It does have the leather trim around it. And on my Marceau GM, I actually painted, no, I, I didn't paint, I dyed all my leather trim black. And so um, I really like that. These, because these vintage bags, um, well, because they're vintage, you have to plan on doing some sort of maintenance, usually, not all of them, usually some sort of maintenance to the piping because, I mean, it is, you know, it's gonna be worn. Um, you can see right here, it looks like the piping is exposed. It is not, it was touched up. I actually touched this up myself with edge coat and it just kind of, you know, rubbed the edge coat. So that's what that is. But when I first looked at it, I thought it was the piping. And then I remembered that these older bags don't have the uh, rubber, I think it's rubber plastic piping. I think the vintage bags, the piping on the vintage bags, I believe was like a uh, rope. If I remember right, I think I think I'm remembering that right. I have that written down somewhere, but um, anyway, so that's why you're not really going to see like anything. You know how you've seen bags where there's there's something sticking out. It's like a plastic piece. This doesn't have that kind of piping, and I'm almost positive on that. But anyway, I'm gonna have to go check since I threw it out there on you know cyberspace in this video. So anyway, I hope this was helpful, and I'll be talking to you real soon. Okay. Bye.